this is Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode 3 of my dad's secret ambitions. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. I just want to know what happened to her dad. This is episode three, and he's nowhere to be found. And like, God, ever since episode one, I'm still thinking he's dead. And then eventually, by the end of the series, we're gonna see his grave, and I'm gonna cry. <sighs> Funny. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Come here. Uh, no. Oh, my God. Come here. You go on my bed. Okay. That's good. Make yourself stress free. What happened to you? All of you got injured in some weird way. I didn't know that quickly. Oh, so. Mm-hmm. Sad day, though. Yeah, that's so mean. Not everybody has the second floor. Maybe they want a first floor. Are we on Star House? They clean themselves. Mm 
Yeah, but to know that as in the future, no one lives there, it's sad. Oh, hey, May. Oh, honey, no. She wanted to do it herself. years old. It's fine. Hey, May. Is that bananas? Poor precious, precious girl. I love her. Remember, she can't. <laughs> She'll need money for Hime in the future. Something else to do? No. You should still be able to work here, though.
<laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Mm -hmm. oh. That's literally Florida, like for the past three days. Uh oh. Well, it looks good. I think it'll be fine in the morning. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah, because your mom was going to make those with you. Oh. I can't. So precious. You're precious too, Cody. Oh my god. That's me. <laughs> no. <laughs> Cody, you're gonna hurt yourself. Please stop. He went for a run. Cody. Oh, sports festival. He may have Yeah. I don't think they'll figure that out. We'll probably just be like, okay, well, maybe he just doesn't work out. Not everybody works out. You're really going to make your muscles ache. You shouldn't do that all the time. That's usually what happens. Because I always say laughter is the best medicine. Oh, God. Wait. 
Oh, okay. Mm, there's your idol. Mm-hmm. So busy about working out, you might have forgot Oh my god. <laughs> Just putting that charm on, I can't. It's a little too formal. That is wedding attire formal. <laughs> or you could just paint it all black. It's worse when sometimes, like, only one of your parents can come to you, so sometimes you want both parents to come with you. Like, sports festivals, field trips, anything, you know?
Yeah. Here you go, Eva. Oh, Lord. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Uh -huh. Everybody here. It sure is. <laughs> the only huge misunderstanding. Oh, he may. guy like <laughs> that was a whole big misunderstanding but you know what us as women I I'm not gonna say every woman but there have some there have been some women who have misunderstood what some guys have said <laughs> and that's okay <laughs> <laughs> guys have done it too. The guys have misunderstood some things we say as women. <laughs> what was this episode? <sighs> oh, my stomach hurts. I mean, in the end, I love the fact that Hema was honest to her father and said, you know, I kind of wish it was just me and you and such, because I get the fact that, yes, he, we're three episodes in, we still don't know anything about Hema's mom, but the fact is, like, it feels like sometimes, because if you were someone who was born into a family where it's either just a single parent, whether it's a mother or a father, and eventually, you know, you get to be, like, in... Third or second or third grade, because I don't think for when I think mm, did I know anybody who had a single parent? Yeah, I did. Um, but she didn't come into like fifth, sixth grade for me. I've never. Um, I don't think I've uh, like other other than that. Yeah, from second and third. Yeah, fourth and fifth. When you're like in second, maybe even third grade, maybe even fourth and fifth, and you meet someone and you find out that they only have a single parent as their predominant uh, person who is their guardian in a way um and not to have let's say a father a mother and such and so there are some kids and it's usually around when you're in second or third maybe fourth grade who I'm not gonna say are 
rude, but the way it gives it off, it seems a little rude. End up asking questions like, well, where's your mom or where's your dad or something like that? Or even with the fact is that he made friends said, you know, hey, are you guys poor? And how, you know, her other two friends was like, hey, it's not nice to say something like that. Like, that's none of your business at the end of the day. That's something that's in their family, their situation. You don't really need to always overextend yourself into the situation just to find out what the problem is or ish like that. I mean, this was a really good episode. I do love, like I said, I do love the fact that Hime was honest. I think it would have been better if it was just her and her dad. I mean... <laughs> All the other misunderstandings that happened in this episode to have literally four women. Four. All cheering for him. Well, no. Three cheering for Hime and one being really, really angry in the background. <laughs> that was the biggest misunderstanding. Because I honestly thought she was going to go over to Goto Sensei and literally like... <laughs> Talks a mad ish to this man and be like, Well, you tried proposing to me yesterday. You were in that all in that all white tux and stuff, like, mm, you ain't seen them signs. <laughs> there is some guys. Cause I, I okay, I can't say this for every guy, but some guys that I have met who cannot read in between the lines that's good as a day. <laughs> He didn't realize what he did with all four of these women, especially a teenager. <laughs> but honestly, this is a really good episode. I loved it for what it was. I'm glad that, you know, we got to see in the future that, okay, which which is really sad that the house is up for sale. And of course, yes. We still don't know where her dad is in the situation. I just, we're three episodes in and I really want to know. I'm getting tired of this, even though I love it so freaking much. I just need to know. Give me the mom and the dad situation. I love that fact that there's still boxes there. The fact that he may wants to cook and everything. She's getting all these lessons that she's supposed to get from her mom, but her mom's not here and it's so sad. But she has so many, um mother figures with all the friends that Goto Sensei has made in a way, but in a way, the only people who she's interacted with is like a housekeeper, her teacher, or anyone else. That's really it. But we haven't really seen her interact with the female workers who work with Goto Sensei. Honestly, because we're on episode three and we still haven't had anything. So that's my biggest thing going into like episode four to the end, where they do have a moment because the girl with the grayish silver hair, as we saw last week, said the message about, you know, he may and everything. So, I mean, come on. They gotta at least have something. Honestly, he's good. we're not gonna know until next week. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode three of my dad's Secret of Vision. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Thursday for episode four. Bye, guys.